Lauren and I have been in a committed relationship for the past nine years. Five years ago, we had a commitment ceremony in Central Park, and we were blessed by our family, friends, and church, and in all of those eyes, we are married. Yes. However, without the right to legally marry in this state, we are denied 1,324 rights that legally, coupled marry, legally married couples are granted. Our family is bigger than just the two of us. About a year ago, we adopted our beautiful daughter, Abigail. <laughs> Fortunately, due to some very progressive laws in New York State, we were able to adopt her as a couple. How strange is it that we may be legally recognized and united through our daughter as her parents, both of our names are on the birth certificate, yet we cannot be legally recognized as a married couple. We want to emphasize that we are a very normal family. Every day we wake up, get ready for work, we get Abigail ready for daycare. I'm a social worker, Lauren's a medical student. We both serve our communities in Queens uh, and New York City every day. We are Astoria residents. We frequent Astoria Park, the great Greek restaurants in our neighborhood, and we take the N and W every single day. And we worry about the same things that families and couples all across the nation and state worry about. We worry about our financial future, where the best place to raise our daughter is. We wonder where the uh, diapers are on sale this week. And we wonder if the Mets bullpen, you know, is going to be reliable this year. We are here and we are not going away. We, we exist, whether the state recognizes us or not. However, a government of any kind has the responsibility to, re to protect the welfare of its citizens. Our government is not protecting our welfare, the welfare of this family, or the welfare of our one-year-old daughter. As a matter of fact, our government would prefer to ignore us and pretend that we're not here. Each year when we fill out our taxes, we tell a lie. Don't worry, I'm not talking about fudging our expenses, but we're talking about checking the single box on the tax forms because we are not legally married in the eyes of the state. When will the time come when the state catches up with the reality of its citizens' lives? We need and deserve the same protections, just like other married couples. What if one of us is sick and needs to go to the hospital? Will the other be granted rights to see them? What if one of us dies? Will my work pension be automatically granted to my spouse? We are here, and we are not single. We love each other, we love our daughter, we are a family, and we deserve to be recognized as such. Please support marriage equality for all people.